Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. Today I am out here at a special little pond. Check this thing out. As you can see, this pond is not very big and it is covered with a lot of moss. But I'm gonna grab my trusty bait caster and see if we can weed some fish out. With so much moss on this pond, I'm obviously gonna start off with a frog right here. This is the Booyah Pad Crusher and uh, We'll see if we can get some fish. I just saw a fish blow up right in front of me, so I'm very hopeful that this frog will get something. Oh yeah, there was one right there, right behind it. There was one right behind it, but he missed it. There we go. Fish. Feels like a big fish too. Oh wow. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. Check this out, guys. First bass of the day. Lunched that frog. Beautiful fish. Strong. Definitely a swamp bass. He's got a little injury on his tail, looks like. A beautiful fish, nonetheless choked the frog. Wrong way, bud. No, wrong way. This way. There it goes. No, bro. <laughs> it's thick muck. Really thick stuff. Whoa, whoa. See what I did there, guys? I was fishing that frog, and I just stopped it and let it sit there for about two or three seconds. And that fish annihilated it. It missed it, but... We definitely got frogs in here. That's for sure. Oh my goodness, guys. I just had a massive blow up. Whoa, that was an insane blow up. This fish is a big fish. That was a crazy blow up, guys. Sheesh, Luis. Another beautiful fish, guys. Check this thing out. What's interesting, what I'm noticing, is these fish are hitting it really, really hard and really fast. And that might mean that there's other fish in here, because they're, com they're competing for food, like I just missed one right there. How many bass are in this little pond? Totally missed it. It's a good fish. It looked like... Oh, shoot, missed him. Yeah, I saw that guy. He, he ri saw the ripple come over. And he totally missed that frog. Totally missed it. Come on, dude, where are you at? Hit it again. Don't. There we go. <laughs> oh! Piece of junk. I missed him again. Come on, had him on for a little bit. Should have set the hook harder. Such a dork. Oh, he's right there. I see him. He's right behind it. He's right behind it. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Gotta grab a swim jig real quick. He's hanging around there. Got my swim jig. All right. Hopefully he's still in the mood to eat. Oh, I see him right there. There's two of them. Two bass right there. Oh, shoot. I spooked him. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to spook him, I wanted to catch him. Ah. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I see him. Bass right here. Right in front of me. Oh, he's turning on it. Missed him again, guys. I cannot believe this. All right, bro. Ah. 
I've got like big bass fever or something. I can't think straight. And I'm missing fish, which isn't good either. Oh my goodness, one was right there. All right. Sheesh. Keeps missing it. There, oh, pulled out right there. Fail. Another fail. Another fail. Let's see if I hit it again. There we go. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. That fish hit it a couple times. It's a good fish, too. Ah. Sheesh. Whew. Decent little bass out there. Guys, this is not good for my nerves. I missed this fish twice, I believe. And every time it was right in front of me and it was scaring the snot out of me. But really, really cool. Like right in front of me, this fish was just pounding that frog. And, uh,. I finally got a good hook set on him. What more can you ask for? Beautiful weather and fish blowing up on frogs. This is bass fishing at its finest. The issue with releasing these fish is that the slop is so thick you kind of have to give them a little, a little chuck so they can get through it. Look at that, this fish is still wrong way, bud. There we go, there he goes. That moss is so thick the fish can barely get through it. You have to kind of give them a little a little toss to get him started. So I just switched up to a little beaver bait right here on a weighted hook. I'm gonna fish that real slow in the open water areas. See if I can't hook into some more fish uh, before I head out. There's another one. Not a big fish. Little guy. Little rat bass. Just kind of pitching this into the open water areas. Just fishing it back fairly aggressively. Yeah, there's a fish in there. There's something in there. There we go. Fish. Whoa, it's a good one too. Feels like a solid fish. Ooh. It's a better fish. Come here, buddy. This looks like the best one of the day right here, guys. Boom, check that fish out. Another toad. Just flipped that bait in there and I saw the whole weed shake as soon as that bait hit the water. And I knew there was a fish in there. And he just choked it. All right guys, fourth fish of the day, another solid fish. Uh, probably go two and a half, three. Beautiful fish, smoked that little beaver bait. That was awesome. Let's keep going. I have a feeling there's some more in here like this. Man, this is, you know, I love bass and all, but these guys really need some help. Sprayed my arm with all kinds of junk. <laughs> sprayed my shoes too, look at that. Oh well, a small price to pay, right? As you can see guys, this pond is not very big at all. And yet, there seems to be a healthy population of bass in here. Uh, pretty cool stuff. A lot of times we see small bodies of water like this, and we immediately write them off and say, no, there's no fish in there. But a lot of times, the most unlikely places um, can be very, very productive because most people don't fish them because, again, they look at them and they say, ah, there's probably no fish there. But if you know what to look for, sometimes you can find some little gems just like this pond.
So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. A uh, huge shout out to Olive Branch Ministries for letting me fish on their property. Um, I'll link their Facebook page down below. They do some amazing work. Uh, be sure to check them out. And guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and check out my last video right here. And as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.